Good morning, I'm Morgan of MorganDaughter.com and today I thought I might do something a little bit different. I need to get my hair all curled up and ready for the Miss Maisel finished dress. So I figured, why not show you what it looks like for me to do that. Uh, I've got, starting off, a lot of body setting lotion just to help the curls kind of stay where they need to be. I mix that in a water bottle here I've got. I don't measure it. I just put in a smidge of the lot of body and then fill it up about halfway full of water. My hair is dry. I meant to curl it before it got this dry, but too late. So we're gonna go ahead and get it wetted down. Yeah, I don't like to have to spray my hair wet in order to start curling it. I like it a lot better if I just do it fairly soon out of the shower. And this isn't wet enough. You don't want it to be like sopping wet. Like if it's dripping at all, it's too wet. Like let it dry off. But usually I take a shower, wrap my head up in a towel, wait like 10 to 20 minutes whenever it's convenient and go ahead and start curling it. Like that's usually a good amount of dryness, wetness for me. I've got a sculpture curler here. It's just something for me to wrap my hair around as I go makes it a lot easier for me. Just start grabbing pieces of hair. As little as you can get away with, the better. Just because it'll dry out faster, you'll have more sharp, defined curls. It's very, very tempting to do uh, really big curls, like with a, with a lot of hair in it, but it always results in sadness and tears. So don't do it. Okay. There we go. And so I've made this little curl that you can hopefully see up here. And I've tossed a pin through the middle of it and kind of slightly pinned it to my head. I like this style of curling because this open part in the middle makes it so that the outside is drying and the inside is drying. I'm gonna go ahead and speed past me getting everything curled up and we'll see how long it takes. All right, so as it turns out, it ended up taking about 25 minutes or so to get all of the curls in, and now they are pretty solidly dry, uh, I'm, I'm hoping. There's always like one that's sneaky and ends up not quite being dry. So hopefully this time I got it. Uh, I really, really need to go back to uh, you know, Sally's or some other place and get more of these kind of pins. <laughs> I really like these for making the curls. I feel like they're just fastest to put in and honestly a lot faster to pull out because unfortunately other pins, like I can feel this one, it's a, one of those alligator type clips and I can already feel that it's just going to be oh, so difficult. This is how you ruin your curls before they even started. Here we go. Why do I do this to myself? Ugh. Every time I put them in, I like, I know I'm gonna regret it later, but I still do it. I should just put down the five bucks to go get some more body pins. <sighs> do we have any more alligators in here? Oh, there's one right there. Alligator trying to eat my hair. So now comes the easy pins. Because, like, these guys, all I have to do is find which is, like, the rounded end and 
push it out. Like, it's great. These are, by comparison, a billion times easier. I think I got them all. Oh, wait, no. Oh. So, I think I've gotten them all. My hair is just a big, massive mess of curls, which, while a super cute, that's not my end goal. So, what I'm gonna do here is do some brushing in order to try and bring some of this together. So, I know I'm sitting here making a lot of like, uh pain faces, which is because I'm kind of trying to rush a bit more than I should. So, <laughs> go slowly, you won't have to like, hurt your own head, and you know, you don't want to pull out your hairs. That's no fun. Don't follow my example. Immediately after a set is always so cute, because your hair does like, these fluffy, poofy, falling together waves, which is really fun. And as you can see, when you compare side A to side B, it's a very different look. Unfortunately, this is, well, I'm not sure. I don't think this is what I'm going for today because the end goal is to look like Miss Maisel, who has distinctly shorter hair. So my plan was to do kind of like a faux bob, thing. Uh, Midge's hair curls up and under, kind of like this nonsense, which we'll see if I end up doing that. Part of me is like, no, it's beautiful, just like this, leave it. We'll see. Let's go ahead and start brushing out half number two. Look, I'm fancy as fuck. Huh. Not really. I'm more overwhelmed with fluffy hair, but I feel so fancy. Like, look, they're doing the like travel together waves. Very sexy. However, again, way too long for the uh, the Miss Maisel look. So we're gonna need to do some kind of like tucking shenanigans back there. The lazy part of me wants to stop right here and call it good enough and be like, eh, I don't, I don't need to copy Miss Maisel's hair. My hair's good enough. But no, I guess I'll, I'll follow through. I'll do the thing. I'm gonna take a section of hair, like basically, I'm gonna take right here and make a little bun right there. Okay, so we've got front section number one, and then we're gonna do front section number two. I feel like a poodle. All right, and then we're gonna divide this in half. This is a cute look. So I've got my last little bit back here, which I'm going to go ahead and just turn that into a little bun. Toss a couple pins in that. One and two. There we go. And so that tight little section back there is going to give me something to anchor the rest of my hair to as I start curling it under. Now I've got the back piece that goes over it. I'm going to try wrapping it around and then like just pinning it here. Let's give that a try. I haven't ever actually tried this before. So this does not feel pretty. I can feel bits poking out. That's not good. So I might need to do some careful, like, smoothing over. I also might have it a little bit too tight. 
That doesn't feel cute, but we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Let's go ahead and do side number two here. Now here I want to go for a little bit more structure. Uh, the marvelous Miss Maisel has some fun swoopiness going in on the side, so I won't be able to like replicate hers. I'm not, I'm not that cool. But I will try and get something similar. Miss Maisel's hair swoop, it does a couple turns. It's got kind of flat against the head here. I honestly could have gone for a deeper part, but I'm not messing with that now. Uh, it kind of goes flat against the head, goes out right above the ear, and then a really nice, good, sharp swoop in, which with hers, her hair is short enough that that's a lot of that kind of poof and volume uh, and staying power of that curl is because of the, her hair is short. It stops there, uh, like it's kind of curling in on itself. And she's got like some longer layers down here that kind of curve up underneath. So we're gonna try our best. Too much, too much. So we're just gonna kind of gently hold that there. And then I've already got a little bit of a curve happening here. And we're gonna do a quick little forward clip. Ugh. Aha! Attack from the back. Okay. And then, if possible, it'd be nice to have a real deep scoop back here. But I don't know how likely we are to get that. I'm gonna try. So and the rest of this just kind of needs to disappear. Let's start pinning and seeing how it looks. Okay. At least from right here that looks okay. So before I finalize anything, I will go double check my uh, reference images just to make sure that everything looks about right. So, but for right now, that's good enough. We'll get back to it. And this side, she has, um, on the, the short side part, she actually has her ear visible, which mine look incredibly red. Every, like, I guarantee someone's gonna look at me and be like, oh girl, you forgot to put foundation on your ear. Well, that's true, sort of. Like, I don't put foundation on my ears. But also, every time I'm doing my hair, like, I think my ears get hot. <laughs> they get all red. So ignore the red ear. Uh, Miss Maisel's hair on the short side curls back so that her ear is visible. It does some, some pretty swoopy stuff here and then curls under. I'm, I'm gonna try and give this a quick brush, see if I can get the start of any curls to, to coalesce here. Almost, it's, it's thinking about it. See like down here, it's loving it. Up here, it's like eh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to call it good enough and just start shoving. While this is super cute, it's just a little bit too high. I really need to lower it a little bit if I'm gonna go for that, that beautiful maisel look. So I'm just gonna start gently pulling out hair. <laughs> this is gonna be super far from perfect, guys, but it is cute. I actually cut my hair quite short um, a couple different times in my life, like I'm sure a lot of girls have. Uh, but it's funny, I keep fluctuating back and forth between like super short or even like pixie for a little while uh, to like below my hips. 
So we're a little bit uneven, but we're getting real close. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this good enough. So next we're gonna spray these down to help keep the curves kind of where they should be. So I'm using Tresemme. Not because it's the best thing ever, but because it's the only one I have in the house. So now that I've done that, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of quick hair smoothing so that any little hairs that are stuck up, I'm gonna try and pat them down into that wet hairspray while it is still a tiny bit wet. Ooh, my hair is sticky now. All right, so that is the total completed thing. Oh, no, I'm a liar. I'm sorry. I take that back. I need to take out the little pindles, pindubles. Okay, so it's not perfect. <laughs> and like with a strong wind, that might just undo itself. I should probably toss in a couple small pins to help. So I've got a little bit of a dent here from the clip, but it'll have to do. What do you think? Does it look something kind of sort of vaguely like Miss Maisel? Did I do an okay job? How does the back look since I can't see? It feels, it feels not gorgeous but at least feels like it kind of sort of matches the whole look. It doesn't feel super out of place. We'll see when I edit the video. Okay, so I don't have as much of a nice swoop as I was hoping for, but that's just kind of the nature of the game sometimes. I've got, I've got some cute swoops going on. It's gonna have to be good enough, so, I'm really excited now I'm gonna go get dressed in the Miss Maisel dress that I made and start making the video for that. See you guys soon. So here's the final look with the dress and everything. I am all done taking the dress on and off so it's maybe frizzled a little bit more than it was whenever I first finished it up. I really like how it turned out overall. I keep looking in the mirror and going, ooh. If I were wearing this out on a date night or something, I would probably toss some flowers in just because that makes me really happy but it's not true to the Miss Maisel look. Uh, she actually wears relatively few hair accessories, a few hats but that's about it. Um, I don't have a lot of hats. I've got a lot of flowers because they make me happy. I hope you really enjoyed my hair experiment as I tried to figure out how to make it look like Miss Maisel's. If any of you guys try it out, I would love to see your pictures. Just tag them on Instagram with Morgan Donner. Really, if you tag anything on Instagram uh, with Morgan Donner, I'm going to see it. So if you have like a cool dress that you think I should try and remake, or if you made your own cool thing and want me to see it, awesome. I love seeing other people's projects.